Hey y'all, I hope everyone is doing well, everyone is staying safe, everyone is having a good time doing whatever they are doing. So, I just got off the phone with the executive assistant to the CEO of the Boston Red Sox, so that was very fun. It was a great call, He's a, the guy I talked to is incredible, amazing human being, and of course he's in one of the head honchos of the incredible Boston, incredible, incredible, incredible Boston Red Sox, okay? Won the World Series four times, I think, in, uh, since 2000, which is, you know, something to brag about, you know, being a Boston Red Sox fan. Okay, Fenway Park, basically like my second home, okay, or I should just move to my, move it to like my first home because I'm there like all the time with the Sox games, supporting my boys. But it was interesting. Um, it was a great talk that we had. And, you know, we kept prioritizing the point of how important connections are okay so making you know making sure that we have connections within our related fields is extremely extremely important okay because if you keep that like a good if you make those connections and if you keep a good line of contact with those folks boom done it'll be good they'll set you up with a job okay especially you know for college folks you know they'll help you out big time and, you know, they can set you up with internships as well, okay? Um, it was nice because I might now have a potential internship opportunity with the Boston Red Sox next summer uh, due to the fact that, you know, hey, we had a great conversation earlier and we both prioritized that we want to keep a constant line of communication with each other, okay? So it's all about forming those relationships that'll ex benefit you extremely, like, it'll, it'll be huge. And, you know, another thing that we both stressed is the importance of internships, okay? Um, I, know, I know some colleges, like my, my college, you know, prioritize its uh, internships and those kind of experiences, but I know sometimes colleges might not. Um, but make sure you get internships, okay? And those internships can also form even more connections, and those even more connections can help you in the future, okay? Um, and he was even saying that, a lot of the executives for the Boston Red Sox and not only Boston Red Sox, but other teams around the globe, especially the United States, um, you know, all of those executives that you see started off in an internship. OK, Sam Kennedy, of the, like, who's the CEO of the Red Sox, he started out as an intern with the New York Yankees. And now he's one of the head honchos for um, for the Red Sox. OK. So we all know he's chilling. That's for darn sure. Um, so constantly just look for those internships. Constantly apply for them. Don't be afraid to get yourself out there. Okay. And once you do get an internship, you know, just me being a sports guy, I'll just stick with the sports. Okay. You know, so if I get an internship with the Boston Red Sox, what, we were both kind of saying as well that the most important thing that I can do is learn the ballpark. Right. Well, it's, and Fenway Park is not an easy ballpark to, you know, get down pat, you know, due to the fact that it's over 100 years old and there's too many nooks and crannies and hallways and stairwells and this and that. You know, they built it like it was like a freaking zoo. Like, you know, there's just so many different outlets within the stadium that, you know, it does take time to learn it. But make sure you learn the ballpark because you will be you know, running around the ballpark, you know, taking care of stuff, you know, relaying messages and, you know, whatever else they decide for you to do on the game day, okay? Just so make sure you really prioritize, you know, learning not only the ballpark, but everything that you can about the business, about the organization, about the sport, just so that way when people are, it's on, are, people are talking about something, you can be like, oh, yeah, I know, I'm on it, let's go, okay? Um... So yeah, connections, internships, making sure you learn uh, the ballpark and everything about the industry, okay? Education is your best friend. Being in a constant learning mode is the most important mode that you can be in. Um, and it's also been interesting being able to watch, you know, the leaders in the industry, you know, actually grow the industry. Um, it's interesting to see how they operate. It's interesting to see their leadership styles and their leadership qualities. Um, and it's important to like make sure you realize that, okay? And, um, you know, one thing that we can do, again, within your related industry 
is, you know, look up, you know, uh, videos of, you know, top leaders, right? Uh, see what they communicate, see how they communicate, see, you know, just their different leadership abilities. So when you, you know, utilize the connections, internship and all that, you can potentially, you know, utilize some of those traits and just knock, knock everything out of the park and, you know, other people will see that and it'll just be extremely beneficial from there. Um, one of the last points I'll make here about our conversation is that, you know, don't be afraid to get an internship once you graduate because that's how a lot of folks start out is, you know, the companies will hire, you know, recent graduates as an intern, which will then lead into like a, like a full-time job, right? Um, and it was interesting because the gentleman I talked to, he was saying that he actually went to school near, like nearby my school and graduated as, you know, like, like a, a graduate of history. Um, and then as soon as he got a job with the Red Sox, it was just a shock to him because, you know, it, sports is such a fast-paced environment. You know, so with, within the sports organization, no matter which organization you work for, no matter what sport you work for, it can be baseball, football, basketball, um, and hockey. Uh, it doesn't have to be the pros. It, ha it can be like any team, any team or any organization within the minors. And, you know, it's just constant moving, constant going, going, going to make sure everything is running the way it should and could be, right? And so, you know, sports is also has some, you know, an interesting schedule because we were even saying how, you know, the team can be in town for five, ten days, you know, playing games day after day after day. And then they can be gone for 20 games, like 20 games, right? And, you know, something crazy. But the schedule is just so inconsistent that it's just constantly learning how to adapt to you know, the different circumstances and the different, you know, games and all that. And especially when, you know, there are no games being played in a ballpark or a stadium, right? There's also concerts and other events going on. So they have to make sure that those events are going smoothly. And so sports is a great industry to be in because just, there's just so much going on. This is, it's great. It's awesome. It's beautiful. Wonderful. Extraordinary. Um, so yeah, it was just really interesting uh, to be on that call is very insightful, okay? And the, the last note that I'll make for y'all, okay, is from here on out, a very popular interview question is going to be, you ready? What is the most important thing you've learned during the COVID-19 epidemic? Okay, that's going to be asked from now on. I guarantee it. I bet any money on it. Okay, not really, I don't know how much money, but I'm betting that it's gonna be an extremely popular question and you guys have to get ready for it, okay? Because if you can't answer that question, they're gonna look at you and be like, yeah, you don't have the job, okay? So on that note, that was my big interview for today. So peace out from Stadium Sports Ventures, okay? Remember, uh, we want community, so constantly be active with us. Okay, reach out to us if there's anything you need. And um, just remember, just live that hashtag steady dream team. All right, y'all? Peace out.